not do that to my grass, I will be mad. I'm putting these on. Hi guys. <laughs> Good 
We all want to see the pup. <coughs> Was plenty very excited? Oh yeah, as you can see. Yeah, he is all sweated up. Throw him in the back. Oh gosh, very yucky. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Stop. stuck in the gate. <gasps> So if you guys notice, we got a lot of water, a lot of rain, a lot of weather. There's puddles everywhere. We got snow too. She said, did you say rain? Yeah. Yeah, we got snow too. Rain and snow for like a week straight. And it's still raining right now. It's going to stop. Okay. We're having hopeful thinking. Yeah. So we tur turned out the two-year-olds because of all the rain and mud. We went and gathered them back up today because it's supposed to start getting nice. We'll see. We'll see. So we let them out at the round pin. Because... Oh. Jump it. Because why? Because why? So they can get rope. There's plenty. Haven't seen him in a while. That's Jerry's new stud prospect. Is your dad actually going to start breeding this horse, you think? Does he uh, like him enough? I don't know yet. I don't know. He wants to rain on us. I do not like these puddles.
because the puppies run through them and they get muddy and nasty. Humble, you better not run through that puddle. What else been going on? Uh, fixing some fans. It was spring break. Spring break, yeah, spring break. Baseball, a lot of baseball. All the muddy roads and stuff. We haven't been driving around the ranch too much or moving any of the herds. Yeah, I started last week. I was moving some cows that were on the petrified forest. And I think that was on a Monday. Yeah, it was Monday. And then it started raining Tuesday and it like never stopped. <laughs> and I know if I go out there to go get the cows, it's just muddy, real muddy. Boggy, muddy. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, we did go to a sorting. We went to that sorting. Oh, yeah. Took yeah. Sensei and Henson to sort in Queen Creek. That was some good times. We just went real quick. It was just a one day trip. So I'll post some of that video, or I'll, I'll add some of that video in here. And I guess that's it. It's starting to like hail or rain, I don't know. So we're gonna head inside for a bit. First time Sensei's ever been on concrete. I had to turn the sound off of this clip because of copyright reasons. They were playing music. But this was one of Henson's uh, best runs. And he's actually partnered up with the producer of uh, The Quarrel in the Creek. And we didn't learn that till afterward, but it was a great show to be at. And uh, can't wait to go to another one, but that probably won't be until the summertime when there's a show up here in the northern Arizona area. I'm here with Henson and we are at the arena and he just finished up these gates 
so I wanted to show them off. Yeah, she came too late. She's like, I'll come down when you're welding. <laughs> that was too fast. He was just finishing up one gate, and I had to help Hayden get ready for softball, braiding her hair and stuff, so I missed Henson welding, but he, we're here now. Um, so tell us about your little project you've been doing. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> well, I needed to put these gates up a long time ago. I put this continuous panel up for the pins, and I never put the gates up. I was just dragging the panel for the gate. I finally put some gates up. So I, I built a little brace because I didn't want to hang the gates on the railroad ties just because these gates were pretty heavy. So I had to do a little bit of welding. So this and right here, this is the brace. Yeah, it's the brace. I didn't really need that much, but that's what I did. Cause it looked cool. Yeah. So open the gate for us. Oh. Show us. I think I could be a professional welder if I wanted to be. Let's that's a skill welt. that cowboys need. Or you should have. I mean, you don't need it, but. He works on a ranch. It's good to have welding skills. Because you might need to weld up a gate or some panels or some fence or trailer. There's always something breaking on the ranch. You might need to weld. So, yeah, that's the gate. Is that as far as it goes right there or will it go all the way back? Yeah, it goes all the way back. Okay. I was going to put on the inside, but the, the ground is not level, so it, it kind of slopes down. So if I put on the inside, it, it eventually just drag on the ground because the ground just sloped. Yeah. I mean, the ground's not level on these. I didn't level the ground. We just built it and making it work. So there's three gates he made. There's the first one right there, and then this middle one, and a third one down that way so it's cool to have working gates uh -huh. oh and I brought a little something something called ranch fuel I've been trying these I ordered the variety pack so I'm not a big energy drink drinker I like monster but that's the only one I really ever drink. And these are new and it has 15 calories in this can. I think the other cans were like 10 calories. Hmm. And then zero of everything So you can else. drink a bunch of those and like get all your calories for the day. <laughs> but then you'll have a heart attack because it has oh. two, <laughs> 200 milligrams of, of caffeine. Mm. So. If you guys saw my short, I've been tasting these and I'm gonna do a review, or maybe I already did a review on Instagram. So here, hold that. Let's taste this one. So far, we like it, surprisingly. Because the cans feel cool. There's like a texture to them. Yeah. So they're not really, they, they're probably not really slippery. So it'd be hard to drop on, <laughs> I think. <laughs> they got a little bit of grip. Okay, so. Oh, you want me to drink it first? Yeah. I was very skeptical of trying this because... Oh, this, this is blackberry lemonade. Yeah. Did you already say that? Oh, uh, no. Oh. Blackberry lemonade? I'm a fan of lemonade. <laughs> um, the Rock has an energy drink called Zoa. <laughs> and Throw them on the spot. Sorry. That stuff is really bad. So I was expecting this stuff to be like that. And it's not. It's totally... It's like a hundred percent better. So go ahead. Give that one a try. Okay They have six flavors this one might be the best one I think so you said that about the last one. What was the last one? blueberry um, Blueberry something mm. This one might be better Yeah <laughs> kind of reminds me of the, there's a New York, hey, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> New York seltzers, I think it was called. Um, I they're, don't know. They're, they come in a little small glass bottle. They're really small. 
Connor really liked them. They used to sell them at oh, Safeway. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking um, about. Yeah. Yeah, they're really small in class bottle. This kind of reminds me of it. Hmm. Yeah, they're really, uh, they're fun to drink because they're small. I don't know. Anyway, I don't try new things. Like if I go to a restaurant, I'm getting the same thing. If I get a drink, I'm getting the same drink. So I was really going out on the limb with mm. these. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Are you gonna share with me now? I'm gonna have to take one more drink. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of the mango just because I don't like mango. But this, yeah, tastes smooth. Nice. Not like sometimes you get a Coke and then you uh, take a drink. And it's like hard to swallow for some reason, like burns. <laughs> <laughs> so they're carbonated, they're clear. The color of them is clear. They have no um, artificial colors, natural caffeine, zero sugar, real cowboy energy. So. Or see. welder energy. <laughs> I'm a welder today. Yeah. Yeah, they're very true to the flavor. Yeah. Yeah, very true to the name of the drink. So. I'd say I approve. Can't yeah, that wait. one's good. Can't wait to see them in stores. I bought this online. It was twenty-five dollars for twenty-four of them. That's pretty that good. Right? I don't know. I didn't pay for twenty-five dollars for twelve. Oh, two of each. Twenty-four. Like, dang, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> so they're like two dollars a can, and it was free shipping. And I think that's just like a um, promo. Promo that they're doing to get the product out there, but. They're doing good. Whoever's doing this. I have no idea who is doing this. I just know that they're distributed by Branch Fuel LLC, Pilot Point, Texas. So, cool. Get some mm -hmm. real cowboy energy to ride these horses if we can find them. Cause All right, well, quit talking about that. And let's look at my welding job. We did already. The horses mean, look are at the welds. I mean, the horses are nowhere in sight. They. They like the grass that's coming in. You didn't even look at the weld. I did when you're opening the gate. No. I went really close. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, I did. Where? This one in particular, actually. So look, want me to go on the side of it? No, this pattern is bad. I ran out of... <laughs> no, this one's bad. <laughs> I ran out of uh, 7018 and that's my rod of choice, 7018. And then we had some 7014. And I started welding with it and it didn't do very good. This might have been a 70. I finally got the hang of it. All that down there was 7014. So, where's your best welds at? Let's go see them. Uh, I don't know. These are all pretty good. I made these hinges, I welded this little metal. I put these hinges on. Yeah, this is a good, good, decent weld. For not welding every day. I haven't welded. When was the last time I welded? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Probably yeah. those gates at Red Tank. Red Tank. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Cowboys need to learn how to weld. Welded these on. This one's pretty good. I can't really tell, I didn't break the slag off. But it looks smooth. Mm -hmm. This was a 6010. I had a 6010 rod and this. And then this was a 7018 rod. One? This one. That one was better. That's why I like that rod better. Would you say it was Excalibur? It was 7018 Excalibur. <laughs> which is, that was a nice rod. Yeah, this was all 6010 that I found. Here's Henson's welder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us a story about this thing. Uh, it cost me 800 bucks. Like in 2006, maybe. Is that a real chick magnet? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that sticker at? I don't know, but yeah. It actually says chick magnet. You drive around with this in your truck. Chicks just flock to you. Because welders make lots of money? Um, they could. They could. But little do they know, a broke cowboy 
uses it. Yes. <laughs> and guess what? He takes his battery out of his pickup so he can power it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So right now this truck cannot run because there's no battery in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't use this welder very much. <laughs> yeah, last time I used it was like six months ago. Guys, the horses came in. I want to show you this. See, there's that little filly, the little Zar, Zar and Dibs filly. She's still hanging out with Auntie, Auntie Goner. And Dibs is in here. And look at that. <laughs> Ghost is like, hey. Anyway, she really got attached to Goner, I guess, after we took her from Mama. <laughs> well, no. So yeah, she's weaned. She came back down here and didn't even have a desire to be around Dibs. Or, yeah, pretty much. She didn't go to nursing again and just hung out with Auntie. And everything is fine. Everybody's happy. So your method is... 100%. So I said, it's proven. <laughs> We're trying to lure them into that pin so we can ride, or I can. Once they all go in there, we'll shut the gate and they can eat in there. And I'll come ride when I'm ready. Hi, baby. She's looking at bull. <laughs> Hi, little baby. Who is that, huh? What is that? Are you so cute? Hmm. Are you so friendly? Yes, you are. Can't wait till everything starts shutting off. <laughs> Funny. Fun stuff. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, mister? I guess he can go in your pickup. He's not getting my car now. <laughs> oh, he can go in the pickup? Mm-hmm. He's going to be all muddy. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed our video that covered sorting and gathering two-year-olds and Henson's welding and ranch fuel.